I don't really plan on these three. Mm-hmm. And it'll Just be the three of us. Caleb, the frequent guest. I believe that's what we're doing. Yep. Yes. So, Josh, why don't you give your inspiration behind it, Inspiration. Well, what, why are we talking about inspiration before well, we actually do Oh, yeah, we should. We should probably. Well, let's, let's do an intro, shall we? Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. This is a podcast. This is a recording of our voices. Yeah. Where we learn to live, laugh, and love together. So, in the next 50, 45, however long this takes, minutes. Yeah, several minutes. Yeah. So, why are we doing this, guys? (laughs) Because we like podcasts. Uh, We felt this was a necessary way in which we could have more productive conversation. And not only that, but uh, I guess enlighten each other and talk about different topics. And who knows, give different perspectives on life in general. And it's also easier than trying to film, edit, and shoot. Mm, That too. (laughs) Yeah. A video. (laughs) I feel like I have to... um, go through like every different medium I can find Mm -hmm. in order to um get my voice out on something yeah so I'll have like the videos for one thing but then I'll do like you did it you've had a pretty decent Instagram account for a while there was that and then there's uh, other like reviews and just like I want to do pretty much everything to get your voice out there. Yeah, which is not realistic, but this this is definitely uh, realistic. Just, that bump is going to be so loud in the after effects. Wow. Well, I'll try to be careful. But yeah. So how have you guys been? We're still we're still talking about the general outline here okay. of why we're doing this. So what? Do you have anything else to add? I mean, I will, but you can say. I was going to ask what podcast do you, like to listen, do you guys like to listen to? Okay, well, in that case, I'll, I'll finish giving my reasons. I think what John said was correct in that um, it's a good medium for us to have deeper conversations with ourselves, mm-hmm. where, where the microphone is just kind of there, mm-hmm. and really it's just us. But it's a, it's a medium, and an easy way for us to have more meaningful talks that we may not have otherwise. And like we filmed, we did a practice one a little while back where we, where that we're not airing yet. We were but, going to, <laughs> but, but gosh dang. It, but we revealed some things about ourselves <laughs> that we never had before. And that's yeah. why it's never airing. Okay, well in Matthew's case, I'm that's kidding. why it's not airing. <laughs> but in my case, I was like, okay, so we're learning things about each other that we wouldn't have otherwise. Mm-hmm. So that is also a big reason. Yeah, I agree. And also, if like people resonate with what we say, they'll know because they listen to the podcast. Yeah. All the way up to the three minute, 30 seconds mark. Mm. Yeah, that's something. I just came for the fame and the fortune. Um, I don't know. I kind of like... I've listened to enough podcasts where they, like Josh said, they have deep conversation that they probably wouldn't otherwise have. And it also kind of helps build that habit, I guess, when you're not in front of a microphone. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, it just, I don't know. I feel like that's why most friendships that are, you know, really good friendships have that, are that way, because they have that kind of foundation more or less. <coughs> I agree. So, so have so. we gotten that out of the way? Not yeah. in a bad way. Sure. No, yeah, I think so. Nice. Just wanted to explain that for the masses. Yeah, the, the masses in quotes, for now at least. <laughs> for now. The four. Until we get the super fans who want to come back all the way to the very first episode. Yeah. Of whatever show this is, whatever yeah. podcast. Whatever this yeah. evolves into. And then all the comments will be who's watching in 2030. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> who's listening in 2030? Yeah. So, what podcasts have y'all listened to that you 
kind of think of when you want to do this yourself? Besides your biscuits. <laughs> I mean, obviously. I don't, I don't have one besides your um, biscuits. That's more conversational based. Um, well, Ear Biscuits and, uh, I don't know if you all have listened to him, but Joe Rogan, actually, he does, it's more one-on-one, but, uh, he's really good for, um, mm-hmm. like, conversational podcasts. I've heard some of his stuff with, uh, I've listened to mostly the Jordan Peterson videos, but I also think I watched some Ben Shapiro one, didn't do one with Ben He's Shapiro. done a couple. He's done a good one with a social psychologist named Jonathan Haidt. He's done, I mean, this guy talks to everyone from... You know the extremes to you know the most interesting people, um, whether politically, science, scientists, mm-hmm. just cultural thinkers and impactors on today's society. But uh, he's really good about no matter like who it is to you know find common ground, to have a good conversation. Um, I know the purpose of this isn't exactly that so much. Like it is to have a conversation, but it's not like we're right. divulging, yeah, or di- discussing. The idea is not more topics in a way that will hurt feelings because we're all friends here. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I mean, Ear Biscuits is pretty much the only one for me. <laughs> but I mean, it, it works because the only, like I was talking about it earlier, the only really unifying theme on that is them and their friendship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they pretty much talk about whatever they want. Yeah. And they true. ramble a lot. Sometimes they get deeper than other times. And yeah, just sometimes lis- listening to them, I'm mm-hmm. like, this is where we could be if we only start this day right. on the podcast. If we started. We're here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they're. I don't. I used to listen to one called The Inner Tube. Which was about, it was actually Josh, Josh Jordan, that's the, from Blimey Cow. Okay. It was him and Kevin from Say Goodnight Kevin. Mm-hmm. Okay. They did a podcast together. And that's what they it talked about like creating and other stuff and other news that they had in their lives, I think. That was the only other one, but I haven't listened to that in like a year or so. I did start listening to your biscuits because y'all were interested in it. And John is trying to spread the ear biscuits. Gospel. I have not like super listened to them yet, but other than that, I don't. I haven't really listened to any podcasts. Yeah, yeah. I found like three that I like, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I do prefer. I do think like video essays are similar. They're not as they're more scripted, yeah. And they they don't have as many. Like usually, podcasts will have more than one person, yeah. But like a video essay, I I would usually I listen to more video essays than I do podcasts. Mm-hmm. They're more bite sized, I guess. Yeah. And they're so easy to listen to. You can multitask while doing them. That's the best. That's the best part for me. I mean, I'll just sit at you know the college and do homework and listen to an hour podcast, and you know I can be productive that way, or do chores, or fold clothes, or whatever it is. But um, yeah, just the idea I don't have to sit in front of a screen and mm-hmm. divert my attention solely to that. Mm-hmm. I can do multiple things at once. Yeah. 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 It's not, yeah. It's not as easy for me to divide my attention, but like the other day at work, I was trying to listen to one as I was working, and then my boss started talking to me at the same time. So I pretty much failed at all three things, but nice. for the most part, yes, that is one thing that I actually can multitask with. Mm-hmm. I have a hard time with doing um, multitasking that. Maybe like when it's something that doesn't require mental activity, like doing the dishes and other stuff mm-hmm. like folding laundry and stuff but like when I'm trying to do school and that I can't like it. Oh, yeah, I no. cannot juggle those things I would not be able to do it with school <laughs> working out is is pretty much what I do or on long drives where it's kind of autopilot yeah so I can div- I can devote a lot more attention to the podcast itself yeah hmm. so 
Uh, do we want to talk about the schedule or like the outline? We don't really have one. But as for when we're gonna do this, how are you? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, and what they'll look like. Um, I don't know. I would say it'll vary. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd like to try to do one every week, but it like it depends on how fast we can upload them. <laughs> yeah, I really want to at least record one every week. Yeah, that's it's, nice. It's taken a while mm-hmm. to get to recording this first one, but I'm hoping that having this one done will encourage us to do more. I don't know. The editing thing, you it know. It doesn't seem that bad, but like, I would like to get to a point where it's more than just three of us and one mic. If you've seen the setups that all they have, they all have oh, their yeah. own mic oh, and yeah. stuff. I would like to get better quality equipment. Oh, definitely. That that will come with time, of course. Yeah, that's... We, we are not at that bridge. <laughs> We're not we'll, even we will burn that bridge when we get to it. We're still at the base of the mountain. Yeah. So, I have a question for you guys that mm-hmm. I proposed a while back for a podcast, and that is how how scheduled are your lives? Oh boy. Or how non scheduled are your lives? And you wish it was more or less scheduled. Well, since you asked the question. Why don't you answer first, so I know like more yes, or less what you are, more or less what you're like no, specifically you. so looking for. <laughs> I find I work best when I schedule like down to the minute. Okay. Um, however, like I will write out the schedule, but I won't necessarily follow it, which is fine because I still have a checklist of the things I need to do and how long I think it should take me, which I think are the two most important things to me in a schedule. Hmm. Um, But I have not been doing that very lately, and I can feel like I have an issue with feeling unproductive all the time. So when I don't have a schedule, I feel like I haven't done anything that day. So that, yes, I schedule, I try to schedule a lot, and I'm glad... I wish I did it more, like I wish I would stick with it, because sometimes I'll like procrastinate on writing my schedule for the day and not do it. (laughs) First duty, write the schedule. (laughs) Um, um, Schedule based. That's an interesting question. I'm very routine oriented, but that doesn't necessarily mean I have like, like not not like you where you have like the minute by minute, because I've seen like you've written your schedules out before um i mean i have a general kind of outline about what i would do during a normal weekday like i'll get up early either have practice or i'll you know exercise run exercise whatever and then i'll have classes and then after class i'll just you know do whatever work i gotta do um but i'm i'm very kind of go with the flow like, there will be times where one minute I'm just like, I'm going to do some work, and then I'm like, eh, I can do it tomorrow. Hey, Josh, do you want to hang out? Or, hey, Matthew, do you want to hang out? Like, like it's yeah. like, I'm very much like, have fun while you can. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, more the first half of my day is a lot more scheduled routine than the uh, second half. I would say I thrive on routine as well, but the problem is I have to make the routine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that takes effort and time that I don't always do which makes my day worse in the long run yeah so you originally posed this question before i got a job Uh and i'm kind of glad that we didn't discuss it then because i did pretty much nothing at that point uh so i don't write a schedule i kind of think that might be beneficial but um you know, obviously on days where I work or something, that is... Pretty much the schedule. It, or, yeah. Yeah. But, um... Now, on days where I don't have work, if we're not getting together, a lot of times I will kind of not do much. I'm trying to get to the gym more, but that's about it. And the thing, the thing with that is... This is a little bit off topic, but um, I'll try to circle back, I guess is that if I don't get enough, like, time off Mm -hmm. just to relax and do nothing in a week, 
I feel like I, I feel like I need time to kind of recharge mm -hmm. and that's what that is. So sometimes I kind of go too far that way and I kind of sacrifice productivity for that mm -hmm. on days where I don't absolutely have to be productive. Yeah. So and that is one thing where I keep like when, whenever you talk about writing your own schedule, I think, oh, that's a good idea. Maybe that could prevent that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the usually I do that a lot too, where mm -hmm. it's like, no, rest is beneficial, and then you spend five hours looking through Instagram, looking through Instagram. Yeah, which I I've heard and I've heard studies done like that's not even rest technically for the brain because mm -hmm. it's like still stimulating your brain yeah it's but, creating that stress hormone and you're not getting any more tired really yeah so i so to combat that in my life i have set i set aside like one day basically i followed the fourth commandment huh. which which really works for some reason hmm um, i wonder why but like i will try to do my best to not do any anything i don't want to do on Sunday like mm. that's my week my day off no matter what unless I've got something due Monday yeah and I haven't done any work for the week which I should have done mm -hmm. I always have that one day where I don't have to do anything I want to do one thing I don't want to do yeah. anything I don't want to do <laughs> taking a break is definitely um very necessary thing um you know periodically obviously but one interesting thing that I've, like, read about, um, like, the Orthodox Jewish community is on, like, their Sabbath, they obviously don't do any work, but they turn off all electronics, mm -hmm. and I think that would, that would be very beneficial if, like, we chose a day, or I chose a day, where I just did that more often. Because I'll go through, like, long periods where I'll just shut it off, but I think it's also nice to have that periodic day of not worrying about what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go back and forth on that because you have some people who will take every opportunity to tell you about how social media is sin, but I think I haven't ever really taken a substantial break, but that is something that I that people talk about, and I keep thinking about trying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need a little motivation. Like when I did a I did a two week or three week fast from it. And one of the weeks I was in that time frame was when I was in Trinidad for the missions trip. Mm -hmm. So that was like really nice. And it kind of helps you adjust a little easier to not necessarily having to be on it. Granted, you're around people all the time. So that's kind of like, oh, you're a distraction, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But it's um, something like that, like a vacation or something. The like tough that. thing, though, is like for me, because I want to be a director and I have to deal with computers all the time and social media and stuff so it's kind of hard to separate from that because mm -hmm. i'm going to be on it so much trying to do what i want to do in life that's where i guess the one day a week or one day every other week huh? um, would be handy usually sorry i'm exhausted <laughs> um can't remember what i was going to say nice um hmm. I don't ha I don't ever feel like the the other thing with having the schedule is like I feel like I have more time even though I'm like when I have a schedule I schedule myself for more work than I can do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that it's not necessarily intentional like I don't think I know my full capa my capacity of how much work I can do in a day. So I either do too much or too little. If that makes sense. But I think when I have a schedule, I can I can comprehend the time, if that makes sense. Because mm. I, I don't know if it's just me or like my ADHD or something, but I cannot comprehend anything more than a week in advance. Like someone will say, hey, we got this thing in a month. And I'm like, okay, great. And yep. I forget about it mm -hmm. until the week of. Yeah. Yep. So I think a schedule helps with that. And I, that's why I have... A calendar to write deadlines and stuff stuff because I will not think about it until the week of <laughs> and I'll be like too late to really make a decision on it so yeah I mean to me events are pretty much at the end of the year until 
they come up. Yeah. <laughs> 20 minutes. You don't have to announce. <laughs> Guys, am I giving minute updates from now on? Um, yeah, I think whenever I'm not super productive, I don't, th- I don't think this is exactly what you were saying, but the hours and minutes just kind of blend together. And it's... The days kind of seem shorter, but it's also like... I don't really have much grasp on what time it is mm-hmm. until it's like, oh, bedtime, I guess. Oh, Maybe yeah. it's time to eat. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like that, and then I'll be like, well, I didn't get anything done, so now I feel unproductive because it's now 5 o'clock, which is dinner time, and I, I didn't get anything done. The other thing with the schedule that's helped me is like I'm taking naps more regularly which I was really hesitant about because like I need more work and time to work but that combined that actually helps me focus more for some reason probably because your body needs sleep and it's a required necessity for life Mm -hmm. I just redundantize myself like three times what's your sleep schedule like is it consistent? Inconsistent? More or less. I probably get about seven hours of sleep every night, yeah. but then take a nap for thirty to forty-five minutes. That's pretty good. I've, I mean, I've gone through pretty significant periods where I got like no sleep, mm-hmm. but now I'm trying to, and it's not like, because for me, I guess. I'm still used to the growing boy needs so much rest like 10 hours of sleep is is a good night's sleep in my mind Mm -hmm. but I've been kind of uh, trying to well schedule more and I think about when do I need to get up in the morning on a work day I need to get up earlier of course than on a non-work day but I think like I try to schedule for almost exactly 8 hours so mm-hmm. on a day I need to get up at 7, I go to bed at 11. Of course, I toss and turn for too long, so that doesn't yeah. work out. But, um, well, to answer your question better, pretty good, I guess. All right, <laughs> seven or eight hours. <laughs> a lot of that, yeah. a lot of, something that really helps my sleep routine helped having a routine in the morning. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't necessarily anything about sleep in general but like i have a i have a 30 minute morning routine that i can get done before work so like maybe an hour because i get up at 7 30 have to leave for work at 7 i mean 8 20 so that gives me about what is that 50 minutes yeah 50 minutes before i have to get out of the door so 30 i have and I, I have to think about it like that, where it's, okay, this will take 10 minutes, plus this, plus this. Okay, I'm up. Well, in the mind of John, John has to be up at least an hour before he's going to, or whatever's going on. Three at the first day. So, yeah, I'm up and at it generally around 5 a.m. That will change as soon as uh, my sports season's over. But, uh, yeah, I don't even leave until 6 a.m. But I, I don't even have a routine. I just sit. I drink my little caffeinated uh, powder drink, and I just sit there. Because coffee stunts your I growth. Sit, yeah, yeah. I sit there until I feel kind of charged up, and then I'll drink water after that, get my uh, first BM of the day, and I'm ready to go. You don't have to worry about showering before you head out because <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a pretty major one for me because everyone says I just take way too long in the shower. So I have to. It's make, true. <laughs> thanks, John. I have to make sure I get up in plenty of time for that. Do you guys shower at night or in the morning? It depends. Morning. I've start. Mid-day. I've started showering at night because of that. Uh, it doesn't always work out. Sometimes. Which reminds me, I did not take a shower. Oh, okay, I'm gonna nice. keep Whatever. that to myself. Guys, Matthew did not take a shower. It's, it's okay, now hours. on with the podcast. It's a good thing this is only audio, guys. <laughs> You should see this guy. <laughs> That's not what I was referring to, but yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah. I used to take my showers at night, but then I started prioritizing my sleep more often. Mm-hmm. So like, if it gets past like a certain point in the night, I'll be like, no, I'm saving it for tomorrow because I need sleep more. Yep. Unless it's like a night where I worked out or went to Krav. 
mm. off my cock because I'm a little oh. still on the shower. I I will because it's disgusting. I have, like yeah. I feel disgusting. I'll run I sometimes when I run at night. I'll uh, get done if it's like eight p.m. I'll be sweaty, but I'm just like my hair's just gonna be wet for like the whole night. It's not. I, oh. I don't want to sleep with a wet head. Oh, That's, also you good. would rather sleep sweaty. No, like, I, I put on clean clothes. I mean, I dry off and stuff, but I don't, like, sh- sh- if I shower, I don't wash my yeah, hair. I also don't something. want to go to bed sweaty, because that will That's worse. make my sheets No, I don't dirty. do that sweaty. Gross. No, I make sure I'm dried off. Yeah, of course. Stuff. Yeah, that's your maniac if you do that. <laughs> so, one time, I tried doing this. This was the night I got no sleep. And I just, I, it was like n- middle of the day and I was still feeling it. So I tried, I had heard that a 10 minute nap can be super beneficial. Mm-hmm. So what I did is I just set an alarm for 10 minutes and then I can't go to sleep in less than like a half hour. <laughs> so I pretty much just sat there and like regulated my breathing for 10 minutes. But even that was yeah, enough. I read somewhere, it was like on Instagram, so take it with a grain of salt mm-hmm. but it's true but no well it actually talked about a Mythbusters episode no, no, where they did on. something like that and it was apparently like even closing your eyes for 20 minutes yeah yeah like doubled your ability as opposed to no amount of sleep because a lot of times you doing that like as opposed to what you said earlier I think it was you or you looking at your phone you're on you're lying down but you're not resting um you know it's like you know, you know, you ever uh, slept in, but like that last three hours of your sleep is like very off and on. You're just laying around because you're lazy. That's like yeah. very beneficial because your body's still getting that uh, yeah. that right stimulus to where you're, you know, getting yeah. enough rest and. Recovering. I've also heard that if you drink a cup of coffee before taking a 20 minute nap, you'll feel refreshed because it takes like 20 minutes for the caffeine to kick in. Mm-hmm. So you'll be down for 20 minutes, which is beneficial, and then you'll wake up, have the coffee, the coffee mm-hmm. <laughs> kick in. Oh, what? <laughs> and then it's you'll be on with your day. So I did that for a while and it helped, and then I'm taking Focalin, which is a, it's a stimulant. So like it gets your heart rate up, okay. basically wakes you up anyways, like coffee. Same category, I think. I think. Um, so I would take my coffee, my focal in, and then go down for a nap for 30 minutes. And I would feel so great afterwards. It was amazing how productive I was after that. One thing I do before I go to sleep that has helped is um, I have a stretching routine that really helps like relax uh, my back, my my legs, and... Uh, even my neck that uh, it like I'll fall asleep a lot quicker in like 15 minutes as opposed to 30 or 40 I'm, it takes me a while to fall asleep I should probably do more stretching like that because I've had I'm having a lot of back and neck pain really yes as a 17 year old old man really old 18 it's 18 I mean, say I'm a grown up <laughs> but yeah like ugh Every day it feels like something needs to pop. So I should probably stretch more. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. My first week at work, I had this really bad chair. Mm-hmm. I still use it sometimes, but I'm used to it. And my lower back was absolutely... <laughs> shredded. <laughs> yeah. It was not pretty. Yeah. And, it, yeah, it's like... I feel like... I feel like an 80-year-old man sometimes. <laughs> I, I think it's partly because... Um, of lifeguarding so much having to sit in chairs mm. and you s- sit during your job a lot yeah the entire job yeah yeah and then there's editing and writing and stuff all of that requires sitting down and it's like even that that just hurt right now nice the listeners can't comprehend the vastness of what just happened you just broke his back <laughs> but yeah I should probably stretch more. Yeah. All that to say, thank you, John. Y'all are welcome. So what's your stretching routine? You and Caleb and all the others. Send us some video. 
<laughs> I'll send you a live stream. I'll live stream my stretching. Ooh. But, um... Yeah. What, um... I don't know. What, what, where we should transition to. What are your thoughts on video games? Okay, well... <laughs> Guys, they're of the devil, and that's why these uh, shootings are occurring. That's why you heard about all the violence. That was sarcasm. Okay, thanks for ruining the joke, John. Face boosted. You know, we were transitioning so naturally until John had to go break the fourth wall and ruin it. Jeez. Good job, John. Anyways, what were you going to say about video games? I'm a gamer. I'm epic. Nice. I I think I just prefer Nintendo games. And Nintendo games are the best. Then we. But, yeah. But yeah yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to get this uh, new Epic Gaming computer put together. And then I will um, have a crippling addiction and become violent. <laughs> How's that going? What, what, it's not going well. What, game, what games have you thought about for your computer? Uh, Minecraft Battlefront 2 Hitman 2. Hit- Ant-Man 2? Hitman 2. Oh. I've never, I have not heard of Battlefield or Hitman 2. Okay. Battlefront? No, I have not. I, see, Star, I just called Star it Battlefield. Wars. Yeah, well, yeah. there is a Battlefield is a game. Oh, okay. But uh, Battlefront's just a Star Wars. Yeah, um, I've seen you play it on the Xbox. I forgot. Um, I want to get that Untitled Goose game. Yes. I've never, I didn't grow up with video games, really. I mean, we had a Wii. A Wii? Ooh, that was nice. A Wii? A Wii in the house, but it was my sister's. And I kind of, like, played more in the last probably three years, just with you two and Caleb and, you know, anyone else who tagged along for the ride. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, But recently, I think, yeah, I've really grown a liking to the Mario Nintendo games as, like, not beginner games, but, like, as easy of a concept kind of games that they are yeah, they're, they're still, still really fun yeah. yeah they're still pretty fun and especially Mario Maker. Maker yeah Mario Maker Mario fun. Maker is so oh, yeah. much fun I didn't really start getting into games until they I got a, the Wii U they build a bond in my opinion like when you're playing with someone else like right there yeah. and you gotta work together like in Super Mario or they don't Super really Mario. make many local co-op games anymore but so that's why the Wii's the best obviously Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. Yes, of course, the only game. And the new one comes out next year. Oh, yes. <laughs> Matthew, nice. Um, but yeah, I didn't really start getting into games until I bought the Wii U. And I don't know. I'm definitely taking that to college with me. <laughs> I Sisters actually, are just going to have to deal. Last time... Tabitha's going to just... Tabby, Tabby bought the Harry Potter game on her own, so that's technically hers. The Wii. But yeah, but do you have a, you don't have a workable Wii. Right, right. So she has to use my game. And my <sighs> game. I would love Wii to try that out. So, yeah. <sighs> it is very empowering for the sisters to ask me to play the <laughs> Brother. <laughs> do, you, do you get flashbacks to when... Like, were you the only sibling with the phone at one time? For like two months. <laughs> oh, yeah. Matthew just no, for a little bit exercises the you can't ask me to play privilege. Oh, <laughs> yes. <sighs> okay. I don't really have any like restrictions for them either. It's just no. like, don't bug me and make sure it's charged when, I'm, when you're done with it. See, oh. if, if I made a big purchase like that, my parents would have would say, it's, it's for everyone. Uh, I wouldn't get to make restrictions if I... Well, maybe. Like now or yeah. is in back? It de- I don't know. I've only had, like, mom to say something about it once. And she was like, Matthew, you better let her play. And, like, I was already handing her the <laughs> console as it was happening. Uh, good old... But I did... Your mom, yeah. For a while, <laughs> like, the last week, when I took it over to your all's house, mm-hmm. I didn't put it back in the living room right away and kept it in my room. Dude, oh, it gets like ten times more addictive when you're doing it without people watching you. Okay. Like you, you'll be surprised if you keep a video game in your room. You'll be on. Oh, you were playing it. In okay. Seven, yeah. You should just play in your room. Honestly, I want to try that out. Like, I mean, two people. Not why would it make a difference to you? I don't know. I don't like, know why. I didn't even connect it to the the TV either. Like, I just played it from the... Oh, okay. 480p screen. I would love to uh, play it on your... Uh, 
on yes, your monitor. I wouldn't mind doing that too. I need to clean it because there's like a handprint like this. <laughs> How did that happen? Like this on the screen. You, know, like. you just said, I'm going to carry this with the least amount of care possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How a rich man holds a TV monitor. <laughs> Computer monitor. So yeah. <sighs> yeah. I have enjoyed the Zelda games. Of course. I had to, you're going to get the Zelda game in like a year. The, the, I almost said 21 pilots. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, they bought the Twilight it. Twilight Princess uh -huh. game, you're, it's going to take longer than I thought to give it to you because okay. you wanted to borrow it. Yeah. Because Julia wants me to play along with her. Oh, of course. So we have to go at the same speed. I may just buy it, to be honest. That's fine with me. But it's interesting. I like it. It's kind of slow to start with, but, you know. It looks good. I like that you can purchase all the old like 64 NES games on the Wii U. That is cool. One game, maybe maybe I could pitch in for it, but I would love it if you got like like Mario 64 or Mario the old Mario Kart 64. What is what's 64? Nintendo 64, the game. Um, I know, but like, what's the number significant? For? I don't know. Did it come out in 64? gigabytes? Maybe yeah. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It can, <laughs> yeah and, and Nintendo's been kicking it for 60 years. No, um, are gigabytes maybe? The, the, the amount I, of RAM. I doubt a system back then would have sixty-four gigabytes. It's just like why Wii U, I guess. I don't know, but that was the worst marketing fail ever. Because you can personally play it. Because we else. and you see, oh. it went from a a, a communist <laughs> regime to a more capitalistic, of course. And now it's a switch. It goes back and forth. <laughs> what were the, like, I obviously know the answers to these, but the people uh, at home don't. What were, like, the childhood games y'all loved the most that impacted y'all the most? Okay. Incredibles Game Boy. Nice. Oh, Game Boy. I mean, Game Boy was my first off. video game mm. ever. You had a Lord of the Rings game on I there. Which I remember playing it. Zelda game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember I playing it. it. <laughs> it had Creeper Orcs. Yes. <laughs> the, the and then it came. I had a Star Wars one, which had the big, the cartridge. Yeah. Not the oh, one. okay. And that was that was. I didn't play that a lot. <laughs> Pathetic. But I did like the Mario, the Mario, Mario Three mm -hmm. that it came on the Game Boy that I got because it was a gift. It was used, and one of the buttons stuck, so I couldn't ever use it. Oh no! Oh, so I, sometimes I couldn't do the things I needed to do in the game, which was frustrating. <laughs> Mm. But oh, that's... Mario Three was my childhood game. Mm. Right. I thought that came out in like the eighties or something. I know, but I'm I am young. What when? Yeah, it was the game I played. I mean, you as a child. I probably didn't have access to any games at the time you were playing that. For me, it was the holy trinity of you Wii Sports Bible Resort. Man. Yeah, <laughs> exclusively the Bible Man game. <laughs> <laughs> there is such thing. I'm oh. sure there is, and I'm sure it's. We're gonna game. We're gonna do a review of that game. I also played VeggieTales.com. Oh yeah. Oh, bigidea.org. Okay. Well, that was awesome. To say uh, Lego.com. I'll say that. That that was a. There was. That was a treat. I there like that. They were all mini games except one. There was a game called Quest for R two D two. And that oh, was, that game was so awesome! I forgot yeah. about that. That it wasn't like super complex. It was the most complex game on there by far. By far. Yeah. And it was, it was the best cream of the, the crop. Thing about it, well, is I always had to start over every time I played it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like. Yeah, it was it was pretty nice. And like I didn't have a Lego game system, a Lego system, a Lego game on a system I could play like at home at the time. So that was like the next best. Thing. Lego's the best. Like, yeah. Why from Lego.com to <laughs> Indiana Jones to Lego Batman? Oh, why yes. are they so? Why? What? A, I mean, obviously we played with Legos at the time, but uh, I don't think they're as good anymore because they Shut start talking. They actually okay. have dialogue. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, you know a Lego game because you don't have dialogue. That's what makes you a Lego game. Except for Lord of the Rings. Enough. It's kind of nice, but I don't know. It is a little, that one is a little over the top. It's like every cutscene is like five minutes of, we will now announce uh, yeah, the like, battle plan. For, we're just watching the movie again. I yeah. I want to play with Legos. And a level is just you traveling from point A to point B, just on a horse. <laughs> and it's like, here's the cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Um, my games 
Probably. I mean, obviously Nintendo games, but the Lego Harry Potter and Lego Indiana Jones were a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I like all the Lego games, but those two have been like... I think I, I love the music that's played throughout those. Um, and... Yes. Which theme was that? You don't know. I, I, I wasn't I really listening. I was the Rings super fan. I didn't mention them. But yeah, I do like the that they use the original soundtracks. Yeah, I mean, I guess all the games do that, but mm-hmm. especially, like, there's a charm about Indiana Jones and Harry Potter for me. Um, and obviously Jones. Mario. Obviously. Did he do Harry Potter? Yeah. Okay. He did. He did some of them. A good chunk of them. He didn't do Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they've made Lego games out of. Okay. It was a different, but... Okay, yeah. But, okay, so... For real, thank you guys for sidetracking all that. My games were um, Wii Sports Resort, specifically. <laughs> Island Fly. We, we, we yeah. completely. Yeah, yeah you just Matthew was just like I declare your favorite game was Lego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, but um, yeah. So that Mario Kart Wii, yes. the only Mario Kart. Yes, and, that's, Mario Kart. Um, that's in my list as well. Uh, Lego Star Wars, of course. The truly blessed games. The yes. only perfect The complete games. saga. Yes. Yes. Of course. Who's the best? It's I not the one that comes out in 2020. I remember quality sleepovers with those games. Oh, yes. Oh, remember Disney Infinity? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like the total obsession. I remember Screwing around in the toy box was just the best thing. And y'all, I remember it was you bought it with your own money, and that was I bought it because I, I was like, it was like yeah. the best purchase. Of I was time. talking to Matthew. I was like, "Hey, have you heard of this Disney Infinity thing?" And we just casually were like, "Yeah, I've heard of it." And then like a couple hours later, I text back, "Okay, I bought it." <laughs> yeah, I was I was like looking into all that. I was like dead. I was ninety five percent sure it was like Minecraft, and I was like, "It's like Minecraft." I'm oh. like, "It's Disney." Okay, and I was like, "I have yeah. to get it." And then you got it. I'm like, what? <laughs> now yeah. I have to get it. Yeah, because I, I think I bought you uh, one of the pirates mm-hmm. for that, that birthday or Christmas that year or something. I think it was Christmas. Yeah, you did. Wasn't that Bar- oh. Barbosa? Yeah, Barbosa. Do you still have that game? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't play it, but oh, I remember shit. that because I bought you a Duck Dynasty cup. <laughs> the Cy Robertson? Yeah. Uh, no, I bought you the cup. Oh, yeah, for Cy Rob. I thought you said something. Yeah, I bought you that, and we got you got mad because we had agreed to get each other for about the same price. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, like, was it? Yeah. it was like three dollars. <laughs> you buy me this five dollars, like ten dollars, and I'm like, listen, bud, I didn't technically agree to this whole ordeal, but I got I went back and got you the Hobbit, like a little Hobbit Lego thing. Okay, nice. so that was yes. I think it had promises it. made, promises kept. Yes. So yeah. Wow, it's already been a quarter of an hour. It has almost. This is the, see. This is why we're doing a podcast, yes. guys. So, what are y'all's political views? Uh, I'm just kidding. We're not talking about that. Here. I don't have any. None. <laughs> I, I am on the nun party. The nuns party. The nuns. The yes. We're not the non. It's a good thing we don't. Let's have be honest. This is going to be classified as hate speech by the time uh, of what 20, 20, 30? Well, you just just podcasts in general are going to be. Was, just you like, just revealed your political joke. Joke by, with that joke. I was gonna. I was gonna say something stupid just as an absurd joke of like, oh, I think we need to usher in the ethno state, but I didn't want to say that specifically. <laughs> Even and though you just this is going to be turned into hate speech. Let's let's just name drop everyone we know. What? Name drop. Everyone we know. Matthew, Michael, Caleb, Dodge, Josh, Dodge. All right. All right, we're done. done. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know this person. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we talk about? We have successfully exhausted three topics. So I was going to say we could really talk about three? ourselves, like the filming stuff we've done. but Scheduling. What were the three things? Oh. Scheduling, video games, and podcasts. 
the second one was probably a blend of a few. Yeah, because we, we were transitioning through topics so naturally and well yeah. until John ruined it by saying, what are we going to transition to next? <laughs> but yeah, that, I was literally just about to ask him about the video games. Hmm. As okay. you said that, as you spoke those words. What, what did you ask about the projects? Like, I wanted to ask this earlier, but I didn't know how to like, really bring it up. Um, like... We have the YouTube channels. We've made stuff. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. Like, I've got how has that, like, impacted us? Or why do we do that stuff? Or what are things we're thinking of we might do in the future? I don't know. Something like that. It's just been on my mind. The thing about that is, like, I want to put more effort into it. But, like, okay, so... It's usually all the things I need to do are basically college work and video work. And like, I want to work on video work more, but everyone's saying like, you got to get the college work done in order to do the video work later on in life. And I, I have that fear of like, if I don't do this college work now, I won't be able to do the video work more in the future. Mm. But then I have to. I think like well if I didn't have the college work I would work on the video stuff more now and it would yeah. cancel out <laughs> yeah so it's just like it's stupid uh, you can't like you're suddenly going to be unable to film stuff like your camera won't work yeah. until you get your diploma okay mm-hmm. yeah and uh, I feel like my attention's so divided that I can't truly focus on one or the other so I've been kind of stuck on that for a while which is probably why I haven't done as many video projects as I'd like have liked to and I'm still working on the one I have not like touched the footage now, I've tried sending I think the reason why was because uh, my storage in my drive Google Drive was filled up so you can't like send videos and stuff that way so mm-hmm. I fixed it so I should send it to you guys again okay. um, but I think it's also like a reason maybe maybe you feel like it's kind of on you but i think also like we in general haven't really filmed anything in a while other than like that scene but um a couple you know a week and a half ago but Mm. i've said this before we probably all said this but we i think we need to like maybe just once a month a day we hang out we devote it to either if it's a longer project, then we use more different, more blocks in a month. But, mm-hmm. you know, you do a three-minute project or a five-minute project. Because those can get done pretty quickly. Yeah. That's a, um, not a bad idea. And not even... Or if we, like, stay the night at someone else's house, we get some of it done the night of and the day the night after. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, and then the other weeks, we try to plan. Mm-hmm. So that it's not like, okay, let's film today. What are we going to do? Now, if that's like a two-minute video, okay, you well, can kind of fudge that a little for bit. The wi- for the most part, um, mm-hmm. w- we've tried to do that, and, like, we weren't motivated enough. Or, like, I don't, I, we, I would, let's see, what happened? Like, rem- I remember with this video, we were going to film at night, which we, which we had to wait for. But we didn't, like, do anything else film-related for that day. Because we're like, oh, the one thing we need to do, we have to wait for it to be a certain time of day. Mm-hmm. So we ended up just playing games all day. But I, I, I agree that we should spend a, a day or so devoted to that work. We should have brainstorm sessions too. Because I feel like a lot of the time, one person just says, okay, guys, we need to film something <laughs> I've got an right idea. now. Let's go do it now. Well, yeah, yeah there, there is that. But a lot of times, I feel like the times where we fail, it's because someone says, let's film something right now, and then mm-hmm. the next question is, okay, what? <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then like, oh, yeah. I, don't know. yeah. I thought you had an idea. Yeah. So, we should do, we should... We should do definitely do more brainstorm options, and then maybe we can do that, and then have the podcast on the same day, because they're basically, yeah. they're basically the same thing, right? What Creativity. Um, the other thing I was... Um, you have two videos you need to post. I do. Jordan Peterson. Oh, I yeah. decided not to post that. I put that on my other Instagram though, because that kind of a behind the scenes. Okay. Did you see that? Which one? Which Instagram? The the, the Peter Pan one. I so, will go look at. I'm it. trying I gave to it a like. I saw that. Thank you. I'm going. I think I'm going to put more behind the scenes stuff on that 
on the Instagram, mm -hmm. on the gram, as opposed to other stuff. I want to try to build that back up as okay. I can. Um, the thing, the other thing I was going to say was. We're at 50 minutes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what the idea was. I can't remember what I was going to say for the second time. Shaking my head. Well. John's pointing at our shirts and freaking out. I don't know. Matthew's wearing a Marvel shirt. Josh is wearing a Superman shirt, which is DC. That is. DC. All right. So the next question All is: right, guys. Is before Batman or <laughs> Captain America? Duke it out. What? That's a, okay. Weird dichotomy. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Batman or Iron Man or Captain America versus Superman? Um, why not? Like Vision, not Vision. Captain America. Captain Marvel. Versus what are we Superman? getting into? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Transition power 100. Do you guys prefer Marvel or DC? <sighs> oh, still. I'm sorry, Pat, please. I have a nuanced opinion on this. Is it both? <laughs> no. Um, it's either one or the other or both. Or I would say, at, okay, so Marvel, at least in, in, in my way of thinking, Marvel's had its run. At least in the, in the Infinity series. I know they got the rest after that, but. I feel like we've invested all of our time in this storyline, and I will still continue to watch those. But to me, it's kind of like Marvel has closed at least a big, ch big chapter of their franchise. So now I'm kind of trying to transition to DC, and for about a year, I've probably been more excited for some DC movies. You know, of course, barring like when Infinity War came out. But like, I was really pumped to see Joker. And I'm really, really pumped for when the Batman comes out. So for, for now, I'd say I'm kind of like when does movie Batman wise, 2021. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did like the Joker. I wish I think if DC kept movies like that where it was more deep in depth, yeah, in let's say in depth character analysis of a char of one of their characters, then they can. In some ways, I think you almost like. You need an R rating for that in, in some cases. Well, not always. Not just some that, cases. but like the quality of the movie is so much different from like say Far From Home. Like yeah. Far From Home feels fake. And the reason why is because mm -hmm. it's in front of a ton of green screens. Like every other scene is a green screen. <laughs> Literally the ones that it... <laughs> shouldn't be green screens. Yeah. Are green screens. I mean Spider Man himself looks fake and except for when he's night monkey. <laughs> But uh, like like Joker had Joker had VR, just it, it needed to be R. Um, yeah, I I could make the case. I think you could strongly make the case that a Batman movie should be R. I want um, to see what happens when this Joker, Arthur Fleck, mm -hmm. meets Joker. What what? Joker, <laughs> please don't. Let's go let's, there. Let's see a fifty-year-old, well, sixty-year-old Joker up against Batman. Maybe they could just make him a young Batman. How old was Nicholson's Joker? Like forty-five, fifty? A hundred years old. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's not. It's not. I mean, Cesar Romero was like. I mean, that was a different bat Joker. Different. How old time. is Joaquin? Yeah. Uh, Joaquin's like 50, fifty. Jared Leto's forty-seven. Yeah, these guys are old. I found that. I thought he was like. At 17 20. years old. He, I didn't realize how young Heath Ledger was when he played. Uh, he was like 28, 27. Yeah. He was young. He'd be 40, I think. Uh, I was talking to Dad today because we went to go see Joker, me and my dad, and talking about how chaotic all the Joker actors were. Mm -hmm. Especially, well, particularly the most recent yeah. three with Heath. I mean, Lado going too. to yeah, all of them went to extreme Nicholson. cases to play this chaotic character. Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting. Everyone since Nicholson at least has. Um. Uh, most live action ones have to an extent. I don't know about Romero. I mean, I did. I think no. that was that Romero, was more, Romero. that was more for comic relief. He went to the worst, obviously. Romero. <laughs> Wouldn't even shave his mustache. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 
And Leto's just a method actor in general. Like he played a he plays a blind character in Blade Runner, and throughout the entire filming, he just kept his eyes closed. Through filming? Yes. <laughs> okay. As a blind person? Yeah, he lived as a blind person the entire oh. time he was filming. I didn't know he was in Blade Runner. Yeah. The old one. No, the new one. The, yes. The old one. Oh, the new one. The new okay. One. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're about at the 50 minute mark. We, are. we got five minutes. We're past 50, 50 minutes. 60 minute mark. And we, so- we somehow managed to start talking about Joker. Why don't, yeah, even though we said we weren't. Yeah. Why don't we review our, ourselves? Review on ourselves. On our, how, how do you guys think? Reveal? Oh. Review. Um, Face reveal. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the first uh, time ever. I think. So we like we said we did the um the other pod we did a podcast kind of a trial run mm-hmm. maybe a month ago. Less name drops this time. Yeah, not I don't think any except for ourselves. We named up every Joker actor. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, in Caleb was in that, so, and um, I don't know. I think conversation flowed decently well. Yeah. It was. I mean, last time we had like more. Sp- I see topics, if you will, that we talked about. Uh-huh. His was kind of more, yeah. not not borderline small talk, but like smaller talk than maybe that. Other than sure. the, other than maybe the schedule stuff where we talked about yeah. our routines and whatnot. Did we talk about that last time? We talked about it today. Oh, our schedule. We, we were going to talk about scheduling last time. I think we didn't. I think we did pretty well, given more. how well tired I know I am, but I know Matthew is too, and I'm sure Josh to an extent is. No. I'm okay. The same level. <laughs> Josh is the, not tired at all. I am so tired all the time that I'm not even tired anymore. Exactly. And Caleb was not here today, if you yes. hadn't noticed. But um, I hope to have him join us. I think, you know, we'll try to talk about things that... What do you think, Josh? Uh, I mean, there were some awkward pauses. The uh, topics we talked about were definitely kind of random, but we did pretty good. I mean, we... For for example, like starting to talk about video games just out of the blue, that could have been really awkward, but we we made it work. I think. Yeah. I think if we ignore the awkward parts, that they go away. They're not as awkward. Yeah. And we're still learning to talk in front of a mic. Yeah. I guess that would be the next best thing. It's best when you have. It's best and worst when you have two other people to count on to take up the slack. Mm-hmm. Because on the one hand they will, and on the other hand maybe everyone's going to shut up waiting for someone to speak. Yeah, that didn't really happen though because we're there not only stupid. a few times, and it only like less than five seconds. Yeah, which, so just cut it out. I don't. I don't think we did too bad. I would. Good job, I'm guys. Excited to post this. Yeah, I had to make it loud. We'll I was waiting for you all to do it simultaneously, but it was like. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That, that would be the thing I was slate to. The next thing we need to do... Well, I guess that's it. There's not much else to do. No, I think this has been the conclusion of the first official... Ramble On podcast? Are we uh, Ramble On, right? Is that the first podcast... Of, of which the name is... We will record it and... Yeah, we'll, it in we just inserted a generic voice audio of Matthew saying whatever the podcast we'll name is. the Siri voice... The meme man voice. Yes. All right. All right. We'll figure out a name. From John. That Matthew. And Josh. Signing off. Have a good rest of your day. Time. On this life. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, y'all. Bye.